Hello everyone, Steven Schinder of Yes Shift here. Uh, the other day there was a post that I saw by Peter Banks's manager George Miser regarding the documentary Claiming Peter Banks. Uh, we've heard about this documentary being in the works for years now. And so I wanted to take a moment to talk about this update and what you can do to help. Now Peter Banks, of course, original Yes guitarist, was also in Flash, Empire, Harmony, and Diversity, uh, described by some as very underrated and to others as probably a very obscure guitarist, but his story needs to be heard. So this update that was shared around in groups and pages uh, is uh, available at supposableproductions.com slash claiming dash peter dash banks uh, so i'm just going to read what the description uh, blurb here says to whom does a musician's life legacy and music belong this documentary captures the innovation controversy and tragedy of british musician peter banks who both gibson guitars and rolling stone consider one of the best guitarists of all time Peter was pivotal in the music breakthrough that moved late 60s psychedelia into what became progressive rock, but he wasn't an angel. He was fired from bands that became legendary, and he imploded others, a divisive figure with far-reaching influence and often called the architect of progressive music. Peter died in much the same way he started, in relative obscurity in a dingy London flat. Join us as musicians, colleagues, and fans look at his career, how he changed their lives, and how the shadow he cast was longer than he knew, affecting musicians now and for generations to come. Now, this documentary features interviews with many, many names you may recognize and some you may not recognize. Uh, just look at the list here. We've got Steve Hackett from Genesis, John Anderson, and Trevor Rabin from Yes!, Steve Stevens has worked with Billy Idol, Chris Welch, uh, people in Prague know hit the works he's written, uh, Joe Vitale, who's worked with Joe Walsh and Ringo Starr, uh, T.S. Van Leer from Focus, John Kirkman, radio DJ and author, and Derek Lawrence, Flash producer, George Miser, of course, manager, David Cross from King Crimson, Davey Ellis from The Nice, Bill Forth, guitarist, collaborator, and longtime friend, Jeff Feynman from Empire Mark II, Clive Bailey from Maple Greer's Toy Shop, of course that pre-Yes band, uh, Tom Brislin from Yes and The Sin, Tom Gagliardi, a radio DJ, Mark Murdoch from Empire Mark III, Sapand Simzede from Days Between Stations, Oliver Wakeman, who of course is also in Yes, Andrew Booker from Harmony and Diversity, Roy Flynn, a Yes manager, Max and Martin Edelman uh, from The Sin, Robert Henrit from Argent, and who's also worked with Roger Daltrey, Dave Wagstaff from Wishbone Ash, John Jowett, who's worked with IQ, Arena, and Frost, Clint Barr, known for work at Puzzle Box, Tripod, and Flash, Michael Hoff from Flash, Colin Carter, also from Flash, John Etheridge from Soft Machine, Burley German from Ambrosia, Stephen Ardelli from The Sin, Robert Hager from Maple Grit's Toy Shop, Sidney Jordan from Empire, Fernando Perdomo, guitarist and producer, and David Mansfield from The Tea Bags, and who's also worked with Bob Dylan, and many more. Uh, and again, apologies in advance if I mispronounced any names or if I got anything mixed up in there, like, but. Yeah, those names and many more will be in this documentary. It says here that principal photography is wrapped. This project is in post-production. Uh, it says here we seek finishing funds to see this documentary through and share it with the world. So there is a donate button on the site. And basically what these funds are going toward, like this is what they need uh, help with. So... Uh, it'll go towards editing and post, licensing for archival footage and photos, licensing of the music critical to the story, and 
also some additional interviews and production and for a festival entry run and assorted administrative and post-production expenses. And it says here that all donors will be thanked in the credits. So yeah, like just anything you can donate, uh, go to supposableproductions.com uh, slash claiming dash Peter dash banks and click on the donate button. It'll take you to this other page and you'll be able to make a contribution. So yeah, do what you can, even if it's just a small part. Uh, Peter Banks, you know, he's, uh, he need this story needs to be told. Like, we love his contributions to Yes, and we've also heard um, some of his solo work and work with other bands, uh, we, me and my dad here at Yes Shift. And there are lots of people who really admired him, so definitely do what you can and spread the word share this uh campaign around into different groups and just let this be known that this documentary is being made it's almost finished and just needs help to be finished so yeah that's the claiming peter banks documentary update and yeah i just saw the post about it the other day and just like really needed to spread the word get this out there boost the signal so hoping that all of you can do the same as well so thank you all for tuning in and see you all next time